You mentioned how you were told to offer it up. Please tell me, uh, how do I uh, simply explain what that means to my children? Okay. Offer it up. Like my grandmother used to say to me, offer it up. Okay. Jesus is a savior. Why did the word become flesh and dwell among us? Well, to save us from our sin. Uh, sin had closed the gates of heaven. And so Jesus came to open the gates of heaven. He loves us so much that he wants us to share in that great victory. And so he allows us to participate. Now you can say this, you know, on a, in a I, lower level. So you, you know how to talk to your kids better than I do. But I'm just giving you the principle. We, we become partners with Jesus in the great work of salvation. It's like, let's say your friend is in the building burning. And um, the fireman says to you, I need your help to do something. We've got to rescue your friend. And I, I, I'm going to go in the building and I want you to uh, uh, hold this door open. And so the fireman races in, grabs the, your friend out of the burning building, and you, you held the door open, though. You helped him. You, you, you participated in the rescue. You see? When you say, I offer it up, that's what you're doing. You're participating in redemption, in the work of, the, the work of Jesus, the work of salvation, okay? Uh, and you can just take that concept and, and um, use simple language as best you can. And, uh, and now, the, you know, sometimes kids are too little to understand everything. Uh, wait till the time comes, but they, they will see your example. That will be the most powerful lesson you can teach. When they see you doing it and you say it, believe me, I didn't understand what it meant when my grandmother said that all those years, but I never forgot it, did I? My grandmother has become world famous. My grandmother teaches as much theology as I do. Uh, 